today, we have a lot of events running. Uh, as some players probably know, there's the new Magic set. It's release weekend for them. So there's draft, draft to your drop going on. There's an Armada event happening, and everyone's practicing up for Worlds. There's a Thrones event. I think there's Hero Clicks as well, and a <laughs> bunch of board gamers. So. If, uh, if it's a little loud, we apologize, but there's not much we can do today. Yeah, you can let us know on stream. We can try to adjust our voices, etc. Get really close to the mic. Yeah. Um, the, uh, so the Mulligans, I, uh, Victor Mulligan 3, I think Will Mulligan 1. Sorry, I didn't watch it either. I saw a few of his cards. He had a Borderlands Defender I think he kept. Okay, let's get the flip. Oh. Checking after the Mulligan. Okay, and we see a Way of the Crab, a Talisman... Court games in Victor's hand and a watch commander. Interesting. I wonder what he's going to keep out of this. I think I would keep way of the crap because you just you know you know it's always good to if you can get it off early. I mean it's it's worth the risk of keeping. Yes, in Canada and Toronto actually. Victor keeps all four. It looks like uh, interesting. I mean watch commander. He's got a watch commander and he has a um, which is decent to put on early pressure. I wonder. I don't know what is in his dynasty. He must have a tower target. I think early, but. I don't, you often can't put enough fate on a tower target in first turn, I find, to really make it worth it to, to also pay for your attachments, but we'll see. Yeah, and he might just be thinking it's like he doesn't want to count on it coming in the first couple draws, so he may yeah. just want to be sure that he has it when he needs it. Yep, yep. Or maybe he's got like Caillou Envoys or something generate additional, additional fate. Plus he is starting with the eight. Okay. So he's just uh, getting the stream audio in his ear. Yeah. <laughs> so we got a guardian uh, and a keeper. So keeper early, I like. Um, obviously, the heat of guardian is not particularly useful other than just a character. Oh, there's the Karata yeah, district for William. Karata. Early Karata is going to be really tough. Um, obviously, makes a watch commander sort of a dead card at this point for him. Uh, I think Victor's going to have to prioritize breaking that Karata as soon as he can. Not the easiest thing to do in the early turns. It's interesting. Buys it. Fangar Warrior off the bat, uh, which means obviously he's going to buy another character or he has a charge in hand. Because, um, you know, Crab's not known for their cancels. Oh, Victor does buy the Heat of Guardian. I wonder, does he have Assassinate Cancel? Uh, with a, okay, with a Fate. I mean, uh, obviously there's eight holdings in this deck, so if you get it next turn, um, you can get, you can, uh, you know, utilize the Heat of Guardian, which is an excellent one drop. Right. So Intimidating Heat on William's side, which is a card I think you see more than you did kind of a, a month or two ago in Crab. I mean, it's obviously got really good stats. It's got an okay uh, ability. Um, you know, and it, so it's just a solid three drop. So he buys the Borderland Defender, which is good. His ability I don't think is going to come up in this um, particular matchup because there's no For Shames, there's no uh, Amid Defeat, etc. Um, but it's still just a solid character, especially if you can... But he buys it with no fate. I mean, obviously, obviously he's he, can, thinking, yeah. he can use the Vanguard Warrior, but even then, I, you know, early turns, I don't mind really fading up uh, a Borderlands Defender for two, three, especially if you're going to strap attachments on it. But uh, both player characters, players opting for sort of a fate conservation going into the second turn, which makes some sense, especially if he plans to use Karata. You know, he's going to be bleeding a little bit of fate there. He has to use that. So Dials, 5-5 uh, five, five would be my guess. Oh, no, it starts the honor pressure early with a four. So he'll be down a card. Now, Victor does have the keeper, so it'd be interesting if he can get uh, get that um, Earth Ring off. You know, um, obviously, William will be very cognizant of that and try to over defend to prevent the keeper coming out. Certainly, good value turn one to have that because you can always pressure that Earth Ring. Yeah. Now, in the mirror, it's interesting because, you know, you want to claim the Earth Ring, but it's risky because you'll give your, the defender a fate if you can't get the Earth Ring. That's right. So, I don't know if he's going to go Earth Ring second conflict, just try to get him to over-defend on the first, etc. So, it'd be interesting to uh, play with that. Now, Victor, I think, would want to assassinate um, and just assassinate that Vanguard Warrior first conflict. I think that would be pretty big. Oh, yeah, he, has, he did draw one? I don't know. I, I'm thinking that would be a, a, a strong play for Victor. Um, because then it would force a reprieve or something for the Borderlands Defender in order to keep it around. Because losing both those characters, uh, all that investment, um, would be good. So we'll see if Victor has that assassinate. Okay, so William is opting to go straight off into the attack. He attacks with the Vanguard Warrior because, you know, he wants to get it used and sacked into Manicure Gardens, which is an okay hit, um, given that there's a lot of there's characters with one glory, which is <laughs> not, not, not a given in Crab. 
But Victor, you know, the early economy is not going to be bad. And Oh, Victor did draw the assassinate. So right. Excellent. Uh, he didn't pay the three honor. Yeah, he does now. Um, I guess that's the strength of drawing five cards. And, you know, it, taking three honor is not a big deal. It remembers to use the managered garden. Good job, Victor. That the end, so... Uh, yeah, I think there's a good chance, Tori Dory, that he does have a reprieve. Uh, yeah, no, it's fine. Um, so, yeah, I was going to say the, the combat fizzles. Yeah. Um, and sir, Or maybe he was just counting on the Vanguard Warrior and trying to save fate, but this is... I think that's a very risky play. I mean, I, I know there's two assassinates in Victor's deck, but there could be right. three. Crab is one of the few clans that runs three, along with Scorpion. Yeah. So he's getting the Skirmisher in play, so he's going to be able to... I have a really good chance of getting that Earth Ring win here yeah. by converting around the Borderlands Defender. Yeah, so he has to worry about charge and, and a counter assassinate, I think would be the, the main things that would stop the, getting this Earth Ring. He, he might go two characters. He, I would go two characters if you're going for the Earth Ring because it's yeah. that valuable. Like, even go. Almost would almost go Borderlands Defender too. So you can threaten to break at least. Yeah, so you can threaten to break. I mean, the Border Defender Defender has it in his name. You kind of um, think he should defend, but, but even more even more smart. He doesn't need to take the Earth right now. Take the water. Yeah. Take the Borderlands Defender out of contention. And then come in with both. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's scouting around. I I don't know. I would want to see what's under that Karate District myself. Okay, hits defend the wall, which is a great hit with a covert. Because now we'll see if he's got the charge. I mean, if he has the charge, uh, it'll be great. Actually, water is a very good choice here because even if he has the charge or assassinate, or I mean, charge to win, the defender wall is not going to do anything for the defender. Yeah. So it's kind of a dead province. It's the best one to hit. Yep. There's the assassinate. There's the assassinate on the other side. Now does Victor have the charge? Charge crisis breaker would be really good here. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like he does not have it. No. Okay. No, but he has the opportunity here to... Uh, yeah, Ways of the Crabs. Um, decent, a decent Way of the Crab. I mean, depends on the reprieve, if not. Uh, well, that's what he may have been thinking. This was his opportunity to get it before yeah. a reprieve comes out. Yeah, now he can do political and have a pretty good chance of hitting that hitting that earth pretty easily. So, it was. I mean, it was a three-fate for three-fate investment, not the... It was a value Way of the Crab, I think I would call it, as sure. opposed to, to something that's really impactful. But, yeah, it opens up the board. Just, he's at a two fate deficit going into the next turn, but actually it's not true. He's got a stronger board, so actually it was pretty strong because so William had the uh, the covert was actually quite impactful because William had a mountain that he could have used to re and he had a reprieve in hand as well. He so did have the reprieve. He so did have the reprieve in hand, that so that was timing for the wave crab. really good timing. So we're gonna see the court games. Yeah, to threaten the break on the defend the wall. And I mean, yeah, there's no counter court games to stop it. So, yeah, I think I think you're right because you you knew you're gonna Tori Dory preplaying the repeat because you knew he you, you knew you were gonna do it at the end of the turn. So, oh, and Whoa. he hits the reprieve very big. Oh wow, very that big, is pretty huge. Um, but he may have been thinking that he was gonna get like once the Vanuar Warrior was gone, then he then preplay, yeah, yeah, preplay the repeat. I think so. Because there's no Karada on the other side, etc. I mean, it tips your hand a little bit. You like to hide info, but I, I agree. That it would have been safer. Yeah, so it looks like Victor chooses to take military favor. Yeah, so Victor's got a, you know, a pretty substantial board advantage here. I mean, William does have that two extra fate. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think that uh, Victor's definitely got the lead here. He's got the... Um, He's got the uh, military favor, which is you know good against Crab, obviously, especially when you're going to be clashing military on the impactful turns. Um, now William does still have the Karata, right. so that's really holding back. A, it's going to be holding back more and more of Victor's hand, uh, as because this deck has 16 attachments. <laughs> so you know every 40% of the cards he draws is going to be attachments, and he's got to really consider each. You know, attachment he plays. Eventually, he's just going to have to play them, or his hand's going to be full of dead cards. So breaking that Karata with his board advantage, I think, is a big deal. Right. Like I almost might have risked it. Uh, oh well, if he didn't have he didn't have any uh, political buffs. Well, oh, the Watch Commander, he could have risked it to attack the Karata last turn against an empty board. I think it would have been decent because you could hit Shameful, no big deal. Actually, you want to find Shameful? Could hit Manicured, uh, no big deal. Meditations would be would have been the problem, right? It would have been the risk. And then Victor buys a Vanguard Warrior of his own, which is very timely. Um, no, I, mean, I think that's a big thing. It's just like 
if I can get a, if I get a province break and not risk losing this Borderlands defender until I have a way to hold on to him, I, I can understand why he might make that decision. Yeah. So, so yeah, keepers again very annoying for crab. <laughs> keepers out are very annoying for crab because they stop your way of the crabs. Uh, you know, every time they come out for two turns, or at least they prevent it. You need the assassinate something to get around. So we see uh, an envoy by and then a witch hunter. Now I. Personally, knowing he's on Crab Uni, I would load this Witch Hunter up, like three fate. Um, but we'll see how, what he goes for. I mean, you got reprieves, you got Iron Mines, etc. But this character's going to be very important. Yeah, makes sense. I think Victor will go for the pass. He could buy the Yojimbo, um, but yeah. Still no holdings for Victor, which is interesting. I mean, there's yeah, going to be a lot of holdings coming, and especially get a Shrewd Yusuke. But there is a holding in play on the Karata, so he could use the Yusuke. So th you see 3-3, three, three, so no change of honor here. See, do, do you see him drawn to a reprieve on Victor's side? Yeah, so he's got the Vanguard Warrior uh, uh, and two reprieves. So yeah, the Crisis Breaker with one, yeah, I think makes a lot of sense. Uh, conserve some fate, because now he, there's a lot of fate on rings, though. So I don't know how much you have to conserve fate at this point. Uh, we see a charge in uh, William's hands, which is strong, and a Spyglass. So yeah. Spyglass on the Witch Hunter is going to be really strong. He's going to activate it twice. A turn. Sorry, I say strong a lot. <laughs> to be really. Oh, the Watch Commander as well. So he gets Watch Commander and Spyglass on that. That uh, uh, Witch Hunter. Now, if he has another Reprieve, I would play it because. If he does, yeah. There's only one other Assassinate, but Assassinate Way of the Crab would be quite devastating. So we'll see how this turn goes because William looks to have some pretty good cards in his hand. Uh, but Victor's got a pretty strong board here. Yeah. And first go, so. What's a good ring? I mean, fire is never particularly good. <laughs> void just for like a future seeking thing. And actually, Void might be good just to protect his own Crisis Breaker. Right. So he pushes on air. Um, air. Does air mean that uh, he has another Assassinate that he wants to play? Possibly, but he's, he's at six honor himself. Yeah. And he's at, um, because I think William's bidding low and the Watch Commander's there. So air might just be something that he knows he's gonna get into honor pressure here. But yeah, Void might have been strong just to protect your Crisis Breaker. But he has two reprieves in hand, so. Oh, so he's got the military, he's got a favor, so he's at six strength so far. Yeah. We're seeing what William's going to defend with here. So given the box, uh, William can make a pretty strong defense here if he wants. It's obviously going to limit his turn somewhat, unless he has a, a skirmisher. Uh, he hits Shameful Display, sorry, as the province. Uh, impactful to some extent. I mean, it's going to be a two, two, two swing. Uh, so we, we drop the, uh, it's now five versus uh, two, seven, five versus seven, or six versus seven? Uh, no, five so versus so seven. So six versus six. Uh, no, the Watch Commander and the Honored Caillou Envoy. Oh, I didn't see that he was honored. Yeah, a Shameful Display honored. Oh, yeah, sorry, right. So yeah, he's hunting for that Karata. Um, So what is Victor's in hand? I mean, charge Yojimbo would be nice. Um, again, this is all going to cost you an honor. Um, your political attack is still decent, so you might want to just let this one go, because uh, you've been costing you honors and cards. Um, and you still got the box, and then just uh, see if you can get in on your next attack at that Karata. Right. And Shameful's been used, so we'll see what Victor, how Victor opts to do it. But at six fate, you know, you just don't want to give, open up that avenue of victory when you're head on board and breaks. So what are you looking over his options? It's interesting. I mean, he had one fate. Obviously, he wants to save it for the charge. So I can understand uh, not playing the spyglass, but I think I might have um, just because you can pull a fate off a ring. Yeah. You know, yeah, I was really surprised he didn't get the um, spy lesson. Yeah, well, he's he's underbidding, so I think I think um, honor pressure is definitely I think maybe not his main strategy at this point. Yeah. yeah so he claims the ring. Victor just lets it go. I mean, Crisis Breaker can still participate in anything any attack on him. So at four fate, one thing Victor could have done is is played his his watch commander, but yeah. Oh no, there's Karata District. <laughs> he could be dealing with double watch commander. <laughs> So I think Victor was thinking about using Vanguard Warrior now, but realizes he might be running into... Um, Way of the Crab? Meditations. Oh, Meditations. Yes. 
So he wants to be able to attack with the Borderlands Defender and not, well, not worry about the Meditations. He has two Reprieves in hand. Well, Meditations would be perfect for the Borderlands Defender. Oh, yeah, sorry. That's, that's yeah, why yeah. he's not using yeah. it now. Yeah. He's going to wait until after... Well, he's, he's not going to go back. Well, I mean, it, no, actually, but I, I would definitely. He's going back in the shameful display. You want to go back to the yeah, shameful display. Yeah, there's no display. reason not yeah. to do that. Uh, I guess. Yeah, no. Well, William could have just assassinated already if he wanted to. So you, you know, you just bet that he doesn't have it. Yeah. So William thinking about playing down the the, the wayfinder. Yep, just to open up his options. Well, here I mean he could attack and then bring in the crisis breaker offensively. So he looks at meditations. Obviously, that's great to attack with the wayfinder. Not so much with the with the uh, watch commander. So the watch commander on attack is also kind of oppressive, right? It's got a charge in hand, etc. So he could make a pretty strong military attack with a good chance of breaking if he wants with the witch hunter. Go back. Okay, so he makes a political void. I'm guessing. We'll see. Because I mean, you're you're one one. You're not taking yeah. So relatively easy defense with the keeper, I would think, or, or we'll see, but Crab not knowing for their political buffs. <laughs> we have a zero glory character. He does have an arcade uh, yeah. fan in hand, oh, and, earning fan in hand. Well, and he's got an earning fan, but we got a, yeah. a, 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 we can get an honored keeper with box, so we'll yeah. see. Immediately, yeah. Yeah, he's got, a, oh, he's got another assassinate in his hand if he wants to utilize it. Uh, he's seven honors not take him a little bit into the danger zone but not too bad so if he wants to win this conflict he can he can which is a good conflict for him to win because it'll it'll force out a reprieve or give make the make the vanguard uh the um vanguard warrior more of a choice yeah so let's see if he uses the assassinate that's the only political card i figured no nope, he opts just let him win yeah. So we're seeing both players play fairly close to their chest, and uh, what's the? Uh, there's some discussion going on. Yeah. Okay, so Victor. Yeah. Okay. So we're at one ring each. Yeah. They're just debating the fact that where uh, he took Void because he was thinking about removing the uh, fate off the Borderlands Defender that he used, but so Victor also has the flexibility now to use the Vanguard Warrior to save. Either the Crisis Baker or the Borderline Defender. Yeah. The Dishonored Crisis Baker is not as good, but that ability is still pretty helpful. Yeah, well, it's certainly going to be in the next attack um, because it's going to come in military um, and it'd be his only defender. I mean, if he doesn't defend with the uh, yeah. with the Witch Hunter. We'll see what he does because he's losing on stats if he does, even with the box, if he defends. But then again, you know, it's difficult for Victor to play cards. So. I would see, given he's thinking about a dishonor victory, or or it looks like he's going to put auto pressure. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, my guess is he's defending. Yeah, and he's also stopping the break on Karada. He's making it very difficult to break. Oh, mountains. Yeah, we saw that in his hand last turn, so that makes sense. Now, he he defended the first turn, so it's interesting he didn't play the mountain the first action. Yeah. Um, uh, for the first defense. So he kind of missed out on, on one potential conflict there. Now, the Witch Hunter's ability still lets him play in multiple, all three, you know, three of the conflicts. So it's not that big of a deal, but typically you would have done that on the first. Because very strong as second player. So we have four. He plays a route. Oh, a route, okay. okay. Yep. There you go. Not a Bushi. Yep. He's, he's not a Bushi, yep. No, no. Well, Victor's pointing to the Borderland Defender, which is not true. Borderlands Defender ability is only on defense, but it's not a Bushi, so. You think, you almost think that every crab character is a Bushi, so it's easy to forget with. <laughs> oh, Spyglass too. So now the Spyglass comes out. So he's, he's missed out on two triggers of the Spyglass. So some sequencing issues, I think, with William's play, but. I mean, is it that, I mean, he wanted to leave the dollar. He wanted to leave the, the fate, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was lowish on fate for the type of things he's playing. But uh, yeah, he missed out on two cards this turn. Uh, he will get a third from the mount. I mean, he will get to use it once. So the fan comes down, it's going to cost him an honor. Yeah, Victor, Victor pointing out, the great Victor's a, a, a very gracious opponent, a very good, a very friendly guy. Points out for William, who may not have forgotten or anything. but uh, So William has a, the option of buying that fan. 
if he wants to win this conflict or use that I, I, I think Victor is very okay with that. Yeah, oh, absolutely. That's to use a reprieve this Absolutely, turn. He, wants to, he wants to force that. Um, so he, actually Victor attacked water. I just noticed Victor attacked water. I'm yeah. not entirely sure why. Well, he gets to, he gets to uh, unbow his Vanguard keeper. warrior? Or his keeper, yeah. It, but it's a military, t yeah, that's true. The keeper's stronger. Yeah, that's true. It's stronger defense. I can see that. Because Shameful's been used, so it's a little vulnerable. But Shameful on Witch Hunter is not that big of a deal. So Victor claims the Water Ring. Uh, so I would suspect William to go back fire, because Earth is, again, a little, somewhat dangerous. He has a Watch Commander, so it's, Victor's not going to be playing a lot of cards, but yeah. I mean, he can dishonor the Borderlands Defender. So now with the Borderlands Defender, I think you were... Oh, he, he, Crisis Breaker got reprieved, so yeah. he, got, did, he lost the Void, so. Comes up, draws a Spyglass, defend with the... So now, now he might play the Assassinate to get the break on Shameful. Crisis Breaker use, uses it to come in. So we're currently at five, two, three, six. He's got the military six. favor. Yep, he's got the favor. And the box will take him to eight, so it's... I think, given that he's got the one fate for another charge on the Crisis Breaker, which again might have been stronger earlier because he's not going to use the Crisis Breaker in two turns, but um, he can win this conflict, I believe, given the Watch Commander. Oh, he bonds eyes, yeah. Bonds eyes up to, with with an honor. It goes up to nine, so now he's breaking, but Victor still has his box. Yeah. I think Victor should just box here and see what happens. I don't. I don't think he should fight to win this conflict. Because, you know, an Earth Conflict is not a big deal. Well, it's a fate. It might be worth fighting a little bit, but Honor Pressure, I think, is where his danger is here. Not pro not breaks or not lo losing con con And he's going to keep the favor. So it's a low-value win for Victor other than the fate. Yeah, that's what Victor does. So I would say if you're going Honor Pressure, while well, you dishonor the Defender, you could dishonor the Vanguard Warrior if you want to just put that additional honor pressure on, but I think the Borderlands Defender is a more valuable Absolutely. designer target. Take away one stat. Because, you know, it's six political. He's kind of a powerhouse in this matchup. <laughs> it's going to be hard to defend that six political coming Absolutely. in next turn. Victor uses the Vanguard Warrior. Yep. Yeah, so, I mean, Victor does have the two reprieves in his hand, so he can allow him to buy one <laughs> and use the other one. Because, again, he's getting a lot of attachments clogging up his hand if he can't get rid of that it, it. shameful display. And it's on shameful display, which is unfortunate. Um, but I would think about a heavy political attack. Well, that Witch Hunter's pretty big political, too. It's going to be hard to break that Karata. It's going to be tough. He's got to almost say, you know what, I'll take a break on my turn and just go all, like, all in against it if he wants to get rid of it. But there's three, re you know, by now there's rebuilds. So Crab's getting a little taste of his own medicine of, <laughs> of what Dragon has to face because that will be rebuilt, right? And you, and you have the danger of it being used twice if it's rebuilt. So Victor's probably best hope against that Karata, I think, is to pull his own. Right. <laughs> and then you can do the old Scorp dance and just trade fate. So Victor's got a fate lead and still a board lead, a slight board lead, I would say, two characters. But that watch, that witch commander is significant, um, and will be which next. Com which commander? Which commander? Well, yeah, that, that's witch. what it gets when it has the commander <laughs> exactly. on it. Exactly. All right. <laughs> so which commander? Oh, so he's threatening a. Yeah, Shudsuki comes out, um, fates it up. Although the way of the crab, William hasn't played any, so the way of the crab could be a good value way of the crab if he's got one right now. Because hitting the he has one. hitting a three fate um, Yusuki for you know equivalent of, of no cards and no <laughs> no fate it's pretty solid on the Caillou Envoy but of course he wants to use it for the okay so we key, see a keeper for William too as well so that that Earth Ring is going to be a hot commodity going forward because we both have one, one keeper to one keeper no Satoshi yet though Imperial Palace so Victor finally gets <laughs> a holding of zone. So we see two sticky holdings come out. Well, yeah, Victor doesn't really have anything to power that witch hunter if he brings it out. That's true. Uh, oh, yeah. So 
Well, you're you, just you realizing can use right the... now that the Crisis Breaker was on a uh, broken province. Oh, okay. I needed to be discarded last turn. Yeah. So he pulls a Vanguard Warrior. Um, yeah, I mean, he can always use a character he doesn't plan to reprieve uh, after it's been used. That's true. But uh, yeah, I think he, he's got a lot of fate. I would go Crisis Breaker myself, but because, you know, the strong attack is going to be military, especially, but he goes Witch Hunter. I mean, there's future turns too, and he may have a conflict character. The bids will be interesting here, though, because William's been underbidding, so I don't think Victor can afford to go five, and Williams has a spyglass for, for cards, uh, so I think he's definitely going to go low. Uh, so I think Victor can afford Victor to... has a star spyglass in his hand. So yeah, but Karada still out. I mean, you could bait with the spyglass, but do you want to give up the spyglass at this point? So Victor goes three, yeah, and William goes one. So now the honor pressure is definitely real. Victor, against that watch commander, is going to have a tough time. I think it's time you have to bait. I think he has to bait Karada at this point. You can't have, like, two-thirds of your hand be dead. Yeah. It looks like Victor has a second Spyglass. And the advantage of, you know, just start playing your attachments out is oh. you can do it with outside the conflict. A lot of your cards you have to play in the conflict, right? So, interesting, interesting play here. I mean, Yusuke's going to be strong. It's going to give him, you know, additional cards where he can start bidding one. And he's got a really strong, I think, really strong set of attacks yeah. here. I'm not, uh, unless Yusuke's on defense, I'm not sure it's going to get a chance to uh, use his ability. Oh, Assassinate, you think yeah. it'll... Yeah. I don't know, that would take William down to five honor. Like, that's not... Right a two honor, yeah, you're right. A two honor, sorry. That, that's dangerous, right? Oh, wait. Did, he, did he take the honor? Um, he that's interesting. Did he take two honor? No. Uh, I don't believe so. Because, yeah, that seems low for him getting two honor this turn. I don't know if people in chat might have noticed, or... Oh, thanks, Toridori. That's very nice of you to say. I just noticed the comment. Yeah, it's, it's always a tough balance. I find it difficult how much play-by-play, -play, how much explaining the cards for newer viewers, how much going into, like, more... And, you know, the more comments, the better. We love getting comments, and it often adds, you know, even more knowledgeable stuff than it's coming from the commentators. Or at least different opinions. Yeah. I am, I am the judge at this event since yeah. we have so few people here, but... So otherwise, I'd try to let it go, but... Yeah, and we're official spectators. Anybody really worried about it? Yeah. <laughs> From the, the, the new fact that doesn't go into effect till tomorrow. Oh, yeah. We've, uh, I think, uh, always, at least, I'd say the BT, BTV... Even, even the old fact, we're still spectators. Yeah, yeah. BTV uh, crew uh, always does a great job, I think, of really helping out at these events, uh, not just with providing great streams, but, you know, doing a lot of the organizing, all that type of thing, so... Victor especially is uh, all the LCGs in Toronto. He's, I would almost say, essential to their uh, card, uh, yeah. to their player base. He's well, and big. Armada as well. Oh, Armada, yeah. He's huge in Armada. Huge for helping Armada. He was helpful in Destiny, Netrunner, Conquest. Yeah, yeah he's, a, he's, a, he's a great guy and great for the community. So we see a political air attack. So, yeah, it's, I think Williams decided his path to victory in this game is, yeah. is uh, Dishonor. Yeah, I mean he's got a he's got a witch command <laughs> he's got a witch commander he's got a, <laughs> he's got a watch commander out for three more turns so I think that's a valid strategy and he's got a honor lead he can force to one so yeah, yeah it's I think we're going to see essentially that taking that track for the rest of the game for him Victor's only got one break so yeah Victor's I think Victor needs some way to get a, a good spy gloss down of his own yeah. I mean, there's always the problem with Karada being around multiple turns. You can just take it next turn, but... I mean, yep. in bad shape here, because Will does have that assassinate, so mm -hmm. uh, can put himself in a good shape for this battle. Yes and no. I mean, that's a that's a five strength. I mean, to win, yeah, that's true. He can always yeah, just... Yeah, he can keep the win. Like, yeah. That lets him do that honor pressure. It's worthwhile. Yeah. He can buy the fan. Yeah, it's true. He can buy the fan. Which... But he has a fan in his hand as well. Yeah. So he can get a break, even. So... Yusuke used right away, smart by Victor, because, you know, there's always the threat of the assassinate. None of them played. So might as well get the ability off. And he's, yeah, he's on an air attack, so he's going to, he can play, he can play an assassinate fairly safely at this point. I think uh, Will's going to try to force Victor to use his province before getting rid of the Yusuke. Uh, yeah, uh, his province? You mean the Manicure Garden? Oh, sorry, his stronghold. His stronghold, yeah. Yes, I think that makes sense. 
It doesn't really matter either way because you know, the stats will go away. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He really, like yeah, he's yeah. gonna try to get his strength up yeah. before, before he, he does the yeah. assassinate. Commit an additional resource. Yeah, I totally see what you're saying. So Wayfinder comes down. He's defend the wall, which is a great province to find for you know farming on the second attack. It's a little dangerous on attacks initially, but once you know some characters have been committed to other conflicts, it's it's, it's I would say. Along with meditation, it's the most farmable crab province. Victor here realizing that his chance he passes instead of using the stronghold. Yeah. So and Will's going to take be happy take, for the take the win. Take yeah. Preserve his resources because I don't think he has a lot of cards in hand, even with those spy glasses. I mean, obviously, it's going to get better and better for him, but with his low bids, I mean, he's not doesn't have a ton of cards to utilize. Now, I would have, I mean, that Yusuke's going to be around next round for another card draw. If you're going Dishonor, I would have assassinated it personally. You mean you're already 8 Honor? Yeah. Just just hit it, right? There's no Iron Mine. Once the Iron Mines come out, you can assassinate. And there's still you 3 would, in the deck. You could also hold on to it now. Uh, no, there's no other targets. Yeah. Yep, Sacrifices, Witch Hunter doing a lot of work here. I mean, the Watch Commander's in so many comments, conflicts, Spy Glasses. That Watch Commander's been the story of the game for William. I've been keeping him in it, basically, yeah. after that first round. So Victor, yeah, Victor, I think, can stand his Witch Hunter, but either, I mean, you don't want to give up the Borderlands Defender, but he's worried about playing his Reprieves. He can use the Crisis Breaker, too. He's I mean, in bad shape now with that, the Witch Hunter coming in every time. I think I would go a big military attack with my Witch Hunter and Oh, there you go, that'll be and Covert, that'll help. Oh, yeah, you don't can, have to worry about the Watch Commander yeah. anymore. Yeah, you can go around the Watch Commander and break Karada. And see if he's got the rebuild. Make him have the rebuild. Because this is a uh, six, seven, eight military attack against a Caillou Envoy and a Vanguard Warrior. Pretty decent. Ooh, okay. Well, got a little ahead of himself trying to play the Assassin outside of conflict. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he stopped that covert. He shows him. But I mean, Victor played that conflict like he thought that Will had one. Yeah. So. Yeah, right off the bat. I don't, I don't I think, think so. it's a, a huge surprise. I think by now, yeah, you, you gotta think that the crab's drawn at least one. Fascinate. Yeah, we'll see what how we'll see how big Victor goes. I think I think it would be worth making a big attack here because you can stand one character, so you're not gonna yeah, have an unopposed. I think what he's thinking is, is it want to put any attachments on before? Yeah. Like, does he put on that uh, katana? Yeah. Um, I don't know if you need to, because there's no favorable ground. Um, I think you just gotta give up, like the the witch. Oh, the witch commander. The witch hunter, I think, just yeah, that, that one's not a witch command. Yeah, I think you just give up the break to the witch to the to the witch hunter. This turn, you just like don't worry about defending it. I mean, that thing's big; it's coming through. Um, it's not gonna be. You're not gonna lose by province breaks. Just give up some breaks, I think, here to secure things. Okay, get his keeper back. That's smart. Now, of course, again, a little risky because uh, you could give up a fate, but this is a big attack. So he can defend with three, five using his his own box. Uh, so that's pretty big. Um, but I think Victor, with no watch commander in play in Victor's hand, I think he can answer enough to win the conflict yeah. and prevent the keeper Vic coming out in the fate. Yeah. Victor also has a keeper in his discard, so... Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, it's really good for either one to win. Just the, the risk is there, but you know, it's fun, it's fun when there's risk. Yeah, Victor goes all in. We see an 8-2-3 defense. Oh, Sorry, why is why did oh oh he oh he switched he didn't go to the karate interesting oh, he, yeah, he, didn't. he didn't go for the karate he went for the meditations which is unfortunate because his own witch hunter gets sucked away um I guess I suppose yeah I mean you don't want the shameful because that's further honor pressure but and takes away your thing takes away a, a strength all the talismans so going back to, wow that is one loaded witch hunter <laughs> now. If you could get away the crab off at the end of this turn, it would be so big. Like if Victor could get off away of the crab. Yeah. But yeah, the talisman's big. Yeah, this Karata is... Oh, uh, uh, Victor, yeah, sorry. Crab is going to pop off to handle a, a rules question. Yeah, Talisman of the Sun is big, so really impactful events on a tower character there. I mean, attachments. 
This is where you want the Sashimono or, <laughs> or something to stop that Wish Hunter, but Cloud the Mind. But, you know, Crab, of course, can't play Cloud the Mind, which is really unfortunate in Disciples of the Void meta. So move over to Shameful, which I don't know if that's going to be... I mean, depending on what cards he has, I don't know if that's going to be in his best interest. But, of course, Victor is looking at a virtual honor of one here. Um, <laughs> with with two Dishonored characters potentially leaving play this turn. So he could be down to one honor. That's really rough position. So we're going to seven to four, so no break. Yeah, I think Katana. If he buys the Katana, you're happy, and you start. I mean, we, then you, you, you had the rebuild in hand. Is that why he went redirected to the shameful display? Like, I mean, you could take it out of break range, but I think he just wants to use a talisman. I mean, why play talisman if you're not going to redirect it? You could do the oh, you could go to manicured. You might, yeah, manicured be safer. Like, I, I don't really want to give up the crowd unless I can find it back out. Yeah, he, very well. I, it's hard to see his hand, but he could have a rebuild. I mean, it's three in the deck, right? Um, yeah, I think Victor just needs to play the katana, and if he takes it, just start playing other things. <laughs> like just. Yeah, Although totally he doesn't agree. have a he doesn't have a good target. His watch commander, his witch commander, witch hunter, just lost a fate, right? It's not the best targets for this stuff, but no, he's in kind but of I mean, a rough being spot. Being able to get the oh yeah, yes. yeah. There's yeah, a big question of whether he has the reprieve. So he puts it on the crisis breaker. Oh, because it can be used in multiple conflicts. Yes. Yeah, that's smart. Kicks it back up to a break. Box has still not been used, so the box itself will prevent the break. I would imagine that's. Oh, well. uh, yeah, it's got Karada plus one. Yeah, it's nine to five. Uh, it'll be nine to six. There's two characters. Yeah, but he's at. Oh, he's at four now. Sorry. Yeah. So I he, have the math right. It's just not right in the screen. So he buys the um, he buys the sword, uh, which makes it difficult to win for Victor to win this conflict, but does open up some avenues for Victor to uh, start playing some attachments. Oh, he still gets to win the conflict. He just doesn't get. The yeah, sorry, the the break, which is what he's really going for. Yeah. Start, I think, Reprieve on Crisis Breaker. <laughs> like, well, he's already used it this turn, so he has the rest of the turn. But, yeah, I think you just want to spend that fate. I mean, a Watch Commander of his own would be not bad. Yeah, hitting Meditations is actually going to end up being pretty rough for Victor here. Watch Commander on the... Oh, okay, yeah, I can use it in multiple conflicts. I keep, I keep almost forgetting that. Um, but, you know, it's a character with no fate, but he's got lots of reprieves, so. Takes it up. Eight, so he's winning now. Another route comes out for William, wow. But it's a route of a zero. He's routing a zero strength character. That's yeah, inter confusing. interesting because he can become one strength on the defense with a military conflict. I think that's a really confusing move. Um, Maybe as another route, but uh, I don't know. Okay. I, I think he was just <laughs> mismanaged. Yeah. And he cost him an honor. But he's not the one in honor pressure. Seems to be going air ring almost every turn now. Okay, charge. Keeper. Uh, yeah, interesting. Interesting. I guess he just he just really wants to win this conflict because um, it's not a threat of break. That's And he was winning to begin with. Um, now it's going to be difficult for Victor to win. Well, no talisman. Oh, that's no talisman. That's true. Oh, actually, he already used Box to go to nine. Okay, before yes. charging yes. the Keeper. Uh, okay, interesting. I, I mean, mean he, I, thought he didn't think he would have to... Yeah, I guess just... He, he does, thought he was going to win to bring the Keeper. Yeah, yeah. thought he was going to win. But charging Keeper, I mean, it's, after the, the Box is a one strength for one fate, and a card is not... It's pretty... Well, I mean, you're, at that point, you're saying, I don't think you can get another strength in it. Yeah. Well, and it's, a, it's an honor, too. Like, uh, anyway, I mean, obviously... Um, uh, everyone's got lots of reasons and it makes sense and winning this conflict's important. I just, uh, I don't know if it's the most efficient play. Because William's down to three cards, I believe, in hand. Four, maybe? So his resources are, are dwindling. Obviously, Spyglass can drum another one. He's okay yeah, for cards. Yeah, turn, I thought uh, William was a little bit in the driver's turn. Well, let's not forget, uh, he, Victor's heading down to two honor next turn. <laughs> so, it's still, you know, and he's got three breaks to go. It's going to be difficult. And that, yeah, I think that Witch Hunter will break. Something. Well, no, yeah. Well, no, Crisis Breaker will come in, yeah, plus no, Witch Hunter will ready. Yeah, so maybe not. Maybe that Witch Hunter won't break. 
Well, I mean, I think he really wants to, that Witch Hunter to uh, be able to do a fire conflict. Yeah, I think this, Victor's use of the, the skirmishes has been really impactful this game. Like he enabled uh, get him to avoid first turn, uh, you know, a uh, strong defense here, avoid a huge defense. So we got a win, not a break. Um, I think I was William, yeah, I mean, I just take it, let's take the loss with only three cards. Okay, so Victor gets Keeper, which is pretty big. Again, it holds off Way of the Crab, if nothing else, for two, two oh, and he gets the re gets a rebuild, but obviously not break, didn't break the Shameful in the first place. That's fine. So Victor has a Talisman of his own. I don't know if it's what he, so he, I would send, at least he's in a position where the talisman can't be stolen anytime soon. Exactly. So take the I would take the tal I would think about playing the talisman and then sending the witch hunter over to my meditations. Just try to get that witch hunter off the board, but it's gonna be really hard. There's only 18 minutes left in the game. There's iron mines. There's reprieves. Getting rid of that witch hunter is gonna be really hard. It's gonna be here for the rest of the game, probably, no matter what you do. Yeah, he goes ahead and sacks. Okay, so the Talisman does come down on the Steadfast Witch Hunter. All right, okay. So, so interesting. So he, sacked, he sacked the Skirmisher. I, yeah. He bowed at it as well. I think he may have been confused about the rep. Yeah. Well, no, it was. I think he just bowed it. I don't know. It's just an accidental thing before he sacked it. It no, was no, It was ready first. Yeah. Um, so he, Victor, he bowed at the end of conflict. So Victor's splitting. It's interesting. I. He's splitting his attachments between the Crisis Breaker, and, well, I guess, and the Witch Hunter. Um, I would have been tempted to put them both on the Witch Hunter, knowing that they're both going to be in the next conflict, but just because he's going to be around slightly longer. I mean, you could let the Dishonored Crisis Breaker go, save your reprieves, but you probably want to use one this turn with Karada already used. So. Yeah, get into that, like, that, that Skirmisher was worth the strength. But the Witch Hunter was in the... Oh, the Skirmisher was... But that, that, the Borderlands Defender is not going to do anything, right? So... No, not not this is a military attack. I mean, it's three, but yeah, Victor actually Victor is a really good chance of defending this conflict. I, I take it back. He's got a keeper, crisis breaker, and a and a witch hunter with with a uh, a talisman and the favor and his box. Actually, yeah, I don't I don't know if William can win this, um, but of course you know. And Victor is there? Sorry, this is third conflict, right? Yes, William second. So yeah, but uh, you know. He could, so he could stick around to defend. He might, well, he might pass conflict here. I don't know. We'll see. But if you force your opponent to, <laughs> to defend with all his characters, it's the same sort of thing. You might even hold back the, hold back the keeper to, to be able to enable your attack. Like if William attacks. Yeah. Oh, but William hasn't used the witch hunter this turn, has he? Yes, he has. He has. Okay. He's so, uh, wayfinder. so you might hold back your keeper to be, enable your own attack because you can get off a of void, pretty big. Yeah. Or even if you're really worried, you can get off a uh, uh, fire. Yes. Uh, ooh. Does, ooh. does Victor uh, play the... Uh, the he, it looks like he has a watch commander. Does he, does he make his own witch commander? <laughs> uh, just so that he doesn't have to lose an honor. I, I think he'll want to be able to apply some of that pressure yeah. back and as well. There's possibly two other assassinates in William's deck. So you could take those out of the condition. I think about it. I think about playing everything you can right now, and he's got three fate. Um, obviously, not that much honor pressure on, on uh, William because so he's got an honored vanguard. They had passed their actions. Oh, okay. And uh, William just passed his past conflict. Past conflict. Okay, he's going to defend. Yeah, that's been so far, William's been very defensive this game. Uh, and it also makes sense because Victor has a political left. So the Crisis Breaker is not going to come into the, into the, into the fight. I mean, uh, Victor's going to be hard pressed to win uh, a political. Yeah, I think so. Uh, three, four, yeah. I mean, Victor. I mean, Shameful's been used, so. So passes all the, all the way through conflict. Yeah. Victor's going to he probably use both of uh, his reprieves here just because he's got a window. Yeah. Uh, and saving with them for later. Yeah, there's, they have that there's, the they, I mean, I don't, they don't know how much time is left exactly, but 14 minutes, so two rounds if they're fairly speedy uh, at most. So you want to save your Borderlands Defender and your Crisis Breaker just to get a big board for next turn. Because William uh, is going to be down to just his Witch Hunter, which is a huge character, but still. I mean, he could save a Caillou Envoy, but he's not going to. 
So they're discussing something, not exactly sure. Yeah, if I was both, I mean, if I was Victor, I would just skip my comment. So, 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 so Victor was pointing out that because he passed, mm -hmm. Victor could pass, and the Vanguard warrior goes away without doing anything on William's side. So yes. Victor pointed that out for him, so William was decided to use his Vanguard warrior. Very nice. Uh, yep. I mean, go to the next phase, yeah. Uh, and he's first player, so they would go away right away. Now, if Victor had a way of the crab. Oh, Victor has a way of the crab. That's massive. Like, that's just so bad. If, yeah. So he, I'd keep the palace because, you know, you have more Yusukis, you have more Hita Guardians. Definitely keep the palace. And you're down to one fate, so you're not going to buy that many characters. So Victor's got a big board <laughs> yeah. for one turn. <laughs> next turn. I mean, he's already used three reprieves, I believe. Maybe only two. Uh, I don't know that he used one. He's used, now. yeah, and one Vanguard Warrior. No Iron Mines. So there's a good chance he still has another save. Uh, he has a couple of re uh, rebuilds in his hand. <laughs> he's waiting. Oh, he gets rid of the uh, Crisis just, Breaker? Like, he's discarding things here, I think, because you want to fish for an Iron Mine. You need Iron Mines, yeah. Or, or your own Karata. That's a pretty big if you get your own Karata back. We, yeah. So 12 minutes remaining in the game. Oh, he does get his own Karata. It's on. It's, oh, e it's either oh. on meditations. It's on meditations because we know it's defend the wall. So that's that's big for Victor. So he shuts off the Karata. He's got. Right now he's got the favor, so he's winning the tiebreaker only because of the favor. Uh, but he's got a massive board, so he can either stop any breaks or he can get another break. I think if he wants. Oh, goes Kasada with a hold now, and that and the honor pressure. I would have thought about the Shujisuki, but and try to try to Shujisuki into a charge. Yeah. But uh, Kasada's well, no, there's only 11 minutes. Victor probably yeah. knows. I mean, Void will, Void will hurt, but if if he's able to win it, but he can always defend it. Um, he's first player. He can take the Void. It's, I mean, Void's not a big deal right now for Victor to get, but... So, two, two on the Heat of Guardian, I'm not sure that's... Um, no. I mean, he's protecting it against Void. They could probably get another turn in after, so... I can see it, but you have an Iron Mine, you got Reprieves. Uh, two Fate might be an overinvestment. Uh, so, Casada, we'll see what um, William has to defend. So, one to one. Oh, he draws another Reprieve, so he's got tons of saves. And an Iron Mine yeah. and rebuilds. Not meaningful now. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, um, and lots of Wizard's Way of Crap's Jennings. Yeah. Pops the storehouse. Dock hard, sure. Um, I was, oh, he's got his own skirmisher, which is pretty big. Skirmishing around uh, Kasada. It's pretty decent at this point. Although Kasada might just make the first attack. You want to, you know, get his ability off. You Make sure you don't. Yeah. Well, you're going to get it anyway, but at least once, because you're first player. But. Yeah. Kasada, Crisis Breaker, and uh, Keeper? Uh, possibly. I mean, Keeper's better on on, on defense, because you can use your box. I don't know no, if you need but, to bring your Keeper. But he's going to use the... He's going to sacrifice oh, he's the Keeper the to... Oh, Hunter. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Yep, ready, Kasada. Or you could do something with the Yusuke uh, on a, a political, but William's pretty strong political, strangely. <laughs> he's really strong political, actually. It's weaker military, probably. So, yeah, I think you're right. I think Crisis Breaker. Oh, big military. Big military. Air. Okay, yeah. Gain the two honor. Take that. Take. Get out of that. That hole. Yep. Manicured. I, you know what? I might even have thought about go, uh, Shameful. No, so, yeah. what he wants to do here is he wants to use the talisman now. So, he gets his choice later. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. You're, you're going you're to end up wherever anyway. Um, you, you might as well. You what, might as well end up at the place yeah. with the ability you don't like. That's so why you can break it. Actually, that's one to think that with the talisman on the table. Casada at zero fate was a bit dangerous because it, he he's good, could send him meditations. Yeah, oh yeah. If William thinks it's going another round, which he does with so much fate investment, he might send him meditations to get rid of Casada. Because then Victor's like all no fate characters. <laughs> so a double investment might have been worthwhile, but Victor has a lot of expensive attachments too. And he wants to use Karada District. Well, he'll get the money. But. Yeah, maybe a two-fate Kasada, but we'll see. So 
So Victor's still got a pretty decent defense coming in with a big attack. I mean, William, you just let this go? I mean, are you going to win this? I don't know if you're going to win this. Like, that's 5, 12. Uh, that's 16, 15, 16 military. Oh, yeah, sorry. No problem. Uh, 16 military coming in. That's, that is really hard to win. <laughs> so maybe you just say, yep, you invested a lot. You can have this break because you're probably going to get it anyway. Oh. 17, because he still has a... Uh... It's a dishonored. I think it's a dishonored. 3, 10, uh, 15, 15, 16. 17. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I mean, it's huge anyway, <laughs> no matter how you slice it. <laughs> now, Victor has to be a little bit cognizant. He does have to declare a second conflict, or it'll cost him a, a, an honor. Yeah, I don't think he's going to have any problem with that. Depends. I mean, just to make sure you don't over-defend. That's all. Oh, yeah, he's got a crisis breaker and a, and a wish hander, yeah. Now, not attacking with a keeper, you're right. You, you have no easy sack target unless you don't plan to save the... Uh, you have no easy sack target other than the Witch Hunter itself. Or no free one to stand somebody. Moving him over to Shameful. Yep. Oh, Shameful. I mean, Heated Guardian has one glory, but otherwise it's a one-point swing. And you're risking your Karata District? If he has a rebuild, it's okay, but... If he has a rebuild, it actually might be decent because he can use Karata twice. True. But it's just more honor pressure, I guess. It's, yeah, because Victor needs to win this or he loses at the end of the turn. And he can't play any cards, basically any cards now. Yeah. But it, it has 6 to 11. Um, and Victor has, has a tough time he, playing he can still He can still switch to steal the Watch Commander. Yeah, that's true. But he can steal it back. So, yeah, Victor, I mean, Victor can't. Well, five strength is a lot to overcome, so I still think Victor's a good chance to win this. But, uh, and he, but he definitely needs to. He needs that two strength. Uh, I don't know now. It goes to 12, 15 with the box. So we'll see if uh, William has any pumps at all. Did William draw Spyglass? I'm not sure he did. Yeah, maybe, maybe attacking the Keeper just to insurance, but... I mean, Victor could attack air. I mean, fire, if William's using all his characters, but William might take away fire. Sorry, did, uh, did he burn the... Uh, burn what, Kasada? What, what, yeah, what, burn, what did Kasada burn? He hasn't used any abilities. He oh, he, no, Talisman. Oh, Stronghold Box. I don't, I don't think he did. I don't think he did, but it's kind of... I mean, it's not optional, but I don't know how we I'm fix going, it. I'm not going back. It's too late yeah. now to go back, but yeah. I'm going to let them know... I mean, it applies now. I mean, chat might have caught it, but um, no, chat, yeah, no, it's fine. but I don't think he burnt Casada because he used Talisman right away. Skirmisher doesn't count. Oh, he used Box. Oh, Garden. Thank you very much, Garden. Yeah, sorry, uh, Victor. They'll they'll tell Travis, but Garden. Thank you. Yeah, we have no audio at the table, so yeah, we didn't see him grab the tape. Thank you. Thanks, chat. Chat's on it as always. Yeah, sorry, chat caught it. <laughs> chat caught it as you were walking up. Oh, uh, Manicure Garden? Yeah, yeah, Manicure Garden. Yeah, so he, he, there might have been a point we missed and then not taking it. But yeah, that was the obvious choice. So we see a sack of the Keeper, uh, which was never used, so... Stands up Casada, which obviously makes the political attack by the Witch Hunter much more... Skirmisher, yeah, skirmisher was very timely for. I mean, it was already it was already looking that way because the crisis breaker could come in. So. Yeah. Oh, Victor! Just, Victor changed his mind. He's gonna stand the witch hunter who has got slightly better political. I guess yeah, military is still just a really tough attack. So Victor's gonna opt for the slightly better political. Yeah. And the watch commander comes in with military. And the Crisis Breaker gets another attack. Yeah, I don't think Victor, uh, William should go military. He should go political. And then, once again, the Crisis Breaker is only a one, one conflict character. So he's certainly playing around Crisis Breaker pretty well. But basically by having a really small board <laughs> and defending a lot. So this is a tight game going into four minutes. So I think it's probably going to go to time. We're not under the... I mean, they roll back the new timing rules. So uh, four minutes is all that's left. I don't think they'll make it to Fate Phase. At this rate, there's still two conflicts. 
and a lot of consideration. So it's now five. It's now five. I mean, those watch commanders be a big deal because Victor he's behind in honor for the two points, but he has the favor, which he can keep fairly easily here, I think. He could just leave a character standing, even. Um, yeah, I think I just mentioned he's probably going to go to time, so. So preventing this break is pretty huge. Um, he doesn't have to worry about the honor from the Hida, so he doesn't even really have to attack. Spyglass to Spyglass, yep. Victor will get a card. Victor's got a lot of rebuilds in his hand. For <laughs> We're never hitting an Iron Mine. I'm sure he's cursing that. Yeah, Crab on Crab definitely takes time. You're right, Tobin. Um, oh, he's got a Gaijin Customs in hand. Um, and so, I guess nothing he really has to stand. If he suspects there's going to be um, a, a political conflict, standing Kasada's not helping that much, but another Watch Commander comes out. Yep, spend all the fate you have. Use all the cards. You know, you, you know there's not well, much time left. So the interesting thing is, like the... Well, oh, he passed his conflict. Yeah, he passed his conflict. Okay, sorry, I missed that. So go in fire. Uh, yep, so this could equalize the honor. Oh, no, it won't. Oh, no, sorry. He's still going to have the two points. William will still have the two points for honor, but if the favor is kept, then... Uh, um, it's going with everyone for the break. Yeah, I guess makes sense. Because then you don't have to worry about an unopposed conflict coming back and ring. You're ahead on tiebreaker points. I'm sure Victor's not playing for tiebreaker interesting, points. Interesting but. thing here is Victor can actually play a card, without losing, his first card, without losing an honor. Play his first card with a... Un, yes, because... No, Casada. Casada reaction? I, is Casada reaction? I think Casada might be action. Was triggered ability. Triggered ability, yeah, you're right. So he can't, the Watch Commander can get burned. Okay, oh, plays Mountain. Action ability, either one. Yeah, so it's a big... Uh, it's pretty big oh, here. No, action ability, no, it wouldn't work. I'm bad. So William can come back with the unopposed political here. So Victor really... Victor has to watch his honor. I mean, he can't go down to one, obviously. Oh, and... Oh, so that's the only action played is the mountain. Uh, now the honor's tied. But yeah, Victor's going to lose at least one character. Everything goes home, gets another break. That's pretty big. Um, so, watch, I mean, William's looking like he'll get his own break here. Oh, Gaijin Customs, nope. Smart, Victor plays Gaijin Customs. To provide a pretty still little witch hunter on witch hunter action. A watch hunter. They're both watch hunters. They're both watch hunters. Uh, action. So every card plays costs you two points in the tiebreaker. Because <laughs> they're both at four honor. Uh, Victor's going to lose one for the for the his watch hunter, his own watch hunter leaving play. So William does the advantage there. But Victor has two breaks. And the favor. Uh, which is not going to go away. Because Victor's got multiple rebuilds for the Imperial Palace. Yeah. So yeah, I think I think Victor has this on tiebreakers. Oh, and he's going to he's going to shameful display, so that'll fix uh, the honor situation, which makes sense. I mean, he can defend with zero. Oh, what was that? Spyglass? Yeah. Oh, Victor pointing out again. We're super nice in Canada. I know on Discord sometimes they give us trouble for the streams. People take backs, but it's a casual event. Victor's like going to take his spyglass draw for last turn. So actually, this is going to pull Victor head on honor, depending on how many cards are played. Yeah, last turn, so almost every ring is pretty unimpactful here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could get a keeper to win favor, I think, actually, if you went mountain, because your keeper would be standing for two glory. Depending if you won no, the ring. Imperial player for like you, like you palace. The palace comes back with a. Yeah, know. but he doesn't know he has rebuilds. Yeah. So I mean, I think Earth might have been the better choice actually, unless you need the two fate, because uh, then yeah. you have a chance of getting favor. Okay, Travis is going to call time. But it's hard. I mean, last round, you know, you see the fate. It's really tough to make those kind of calls for for relatively marginal effect. But I think Earth might have been the call there. Political void. Um, sorry, the count is now three. Five to wow, five to eight, I think. Sorry, a lot of attachments. We have three, four, six, seven, eight. Yep. So he's going to take the conflict, void Casada, but he was sitting on the way of the crab for a really long time. 
but you know, like keepers and small characters and skirmishers really stopped those way of the crabs. They flipped. Yeah. So since Victor had, they were even on honor. He had this straight up five points. He had the straight up five points for the win. Yep. Because he had the favor and he had two broken provinces. Two so to none. Yep. To none. Yep. I, I think William probably would have just given it to him he anyway. He would have considered it anyways. Yeah.